So the problem is to find the electric flux through this triangular box. And, you know, before we start, let me explain what the situation is. We have a triangular box with these faces, one, this face is like uh, a right triangle. Uh, this angle is 30 degrees. And we have another parallel face, which is again equivalent to this right triangular. And we have this bottom face, which is a rectangle. And we have this face, again is a rectangle. And we have this inclined face, slanted face, another rectangle. So let's name first these faces, okay? Uh, this right triangular face, let me call the face 1. And the other equivalent right triangular face, which is this one, call this face 2. And this rectangular face, let me call 3. And this rectangular face, which is the bottom face of the uh, box, is 4. And the slanted face, which is this rectangular inclined face, let me call as face 5. So the box consists of five faces. And we have this electric field, uniform electric field of magnitude uh, 6 times 10 to the 4 newton per coulomb. And this picture is what you see from this side view, this view cross section. And you see this, uh, the first uh, face, rectangular face. And the electric field lines are coming parallel to the bottom and crossing perpendicular to this third face and going out from this slanted face. So since we have five uh, different faces, uh, that means uh, you will calculate five different fluxes. And let me call, let, let me name these faces, uh, fluxes as five one, five one, sorry. Phi 1 is the uh, flux through this first rec the right triangular face. But as you see from the picture that the electric field lines are uh, going parallel to the surface of phase 1, that means, and the surface of phase 1 has the area vector which is in this direction, out of the page, making a right angle with the electric field so electric field is uniform e dot the area vector of the phase one is equal to zero because the electric field and the area vector one is perpendicular to each other so let's uh, think about the other equivalent phase which is phase number two it's again the same. Uh, the area vector is in this direction, but uh, making a right triangle, right uh, angle between the, the electric field. So phi, phi two, which is the flux through phase two, is again e dot. Uh, let me call this a two zero because the electric field and the area vector two is perpendicular to each other. Next. Consider this phase, the phase uh, surface three. Uh, I mean the, uh, the the surface of phase three, which is this rectangular surface. Name this flux three, phi three. The electric field dot product with the area vector of surface three. This is the surface three from. Uh, uh, cross-section view and since area vector is always pointing outward uh, the area vector should be in this direction for phase 3 this is a3 and immediately you can see that the area vector 3 and the electric field lines are opposite to each other making the angle between them uh, 180 degrees so the result is 
E times the magnitude of electric field, the magnitude uh, or the area of phase three multiplied by cosine uh, 180 degrees. That means minus E is six times to 10 to the four multiplied by the area vector, the area of the uh, phase three is 40 centimeters multiplied by 30 centimeters, but let's convert these to meters. So 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.3. Uh, Newton meter square divided by Coulomb is the uh, result of uh, flux, because flux has a unit. And what we are left with uh, the bottom phase, the phase number four. But when you look at it, for bottom phase, the area vector is in this direction, and let me call this A4. And it is clear from the picture that the area vector four and the electric field line is again perpendicular to each other, making the result zero because the electric field and the area four vector is perpendicular to each other okay so what next we have this fifth surface which is slanted surface slanted surface i'm showing here this rectangular inclined surface of this triangular box or from the cross section we have this is the cross section of the surface 5. Let me call this flux phi, oops, here, phi 5. And the electric field vector dot product with A5, the area vector for fifth. So, what is the area vector for this slanted surface? It is perpendicular to the surface of course and it is outward box it is this a5 so if you look at uh, the picture carefully then you will see that the electric field lines and the area vector 5 is 60 degrees well, if you, you know, think that uh, this is 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and this angle, and, you know, this angle is the same. Let me check if I'm not wrong. I don't want to make, you know, yeah, this is 60 degrees, and if this is 60, and this is, if this is 60, this is 60, Oh, sorry, so this should be 30 degrees, okay? This is 30 degrees. Because these are, this is 60, this is 60. And if you make this parallel line, this 60 add up to 90s if this angle is 30 degrees. Okay, so what do we have? The... Uh, the magnitude of electric field multiplied by the area of this slanted surface but what is the area of the slanted surface so this is a rectangular surface and this side multiplied by this side this side is 30 centimeters and what about this side this side can be found by using trigonometry if you know from this right triangle right uh, if you know this is the hypotenuse and cosine 30 multiplied by, multiplied by this hypotenuse is equal to 40 centimeters so from this uh, this side you can easily calculate 40 or 0 0.4 meters divided by cosine 30 right and this will be multiplied by this side which is 0 0.3 meters and just replace the magnitude of e by 6 times 10 to the 4 
and the angle between the cosine of the angle between these two vectors electric field and a5 which is nothing but cosine 30 so as you can easily see that these cosines cancel out and what you have 6 10 to 4 multiplied by 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.3 which is exactly equal to this one with a positive sign so the flux through surface 3 this flux and the flux through surface 5 are equal to each other but uh, opposite in sign they are equal to each other in magnitude but opposite in sign so what you get is phi 3 is equal to minus phi 5 okay so what next is uh, the next question might be okay what is what is the total flux then through this closed box so the total flux through this closed box let me write down in here phi total there is the sum of all these fluxes phi 1 plus phi 2 plus until phi 5 you add them all and phi 1 phi 2 and phi 4 has zero fluxes well phi 3 and phi 5 are equal to each other in magnitude but they are opposite in sign so they add up to again zero making the total flux through the box making zero okay so uh, this is just only a specific case of a general uh, uh, observation whenever you have a closed box well the closed box does not uh, you know uh, contain any any net charge and if it, if this box is put or this volume it, it may not be a, you know uh, a regular shape box it may be like potato kind surface or volume if you put this uh, box or volume into a region of space where, where there is a uniform electric field you will always find this result okay the flux through a closed volume for a uniform electric field if you put that volume into a uniform electric field you will always find a zero flux okay this is a general result and this is a specific example for this result